And there we have a quick, refreshing side salad, snack, maybe a main meal if you're willing to eat enough of it. And it's perfect for this time of year. So my husband and I have a really busy night tonight, so I decided to go ahead and whip up a quick little snack dinner thing that we love. So we have something to snack on when we get back from our long evening. So I'm gonna grab some veggies. We have all of these vegetables right out of our garden. So here are some of our cucumbers and some of our tomatoes. I'm gonna grab a few more. Then I'm gonna pull some fresh basil that I have hanging over here in the window. And I'm going to start to make this recipe. So join me. All right, to get us started, I'm going to, of course, wash all my vegetables. I don't know if I need all of these. I'm going to assume I do. We already stole a little bit off this guy for a smoothie this morning. Then we're also going to need a nice good sized bowl that we can kind of mix everything up in. I have my glasses here that I love, Pyrex, they're the best. And then we're just going to get to slicing. So for this part, you're going to take the cucumbers and genuinely just slice them up however you like. We kind of like bigger chunks, I'm going to stick with that. like that kind of in a cross shape so you get nice four nice good sized chunks okay. and I don't know if I need this guy so I'm gonna wait I am gonna take my tomatoes here and do the same kind of make like some good bite-sized chunks whatever seems right so I'm kind of going for roughly that size and chunk. about a 50 50 ratio tomatoes to cucumbers now if you're like my husband and I and you like onions you can also throw some onions in here really anything we just kind of like to keep it basic that way it's a nice light refreshing thing you can either eat basically as a little salad on its own or you can just throw it in on the side um, or snack on it which is always a good thing when it can kind of take on multiple roles for you when you're, when you're cooking Right, and that's our fresh basil. Just kind of roll that up and cut it up. We're gonna throw that in there. And now, we're gonna give it one more good little mix. And then, I'm gonna throw in a little, typically this would be lemon juice, but I'm out, so I'm gonna use lime juice. Just a little splash, probably about a tablespoon. Throw in some olive oil, which is behind my camera here. Good thinking on my part. I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon of that as well. Put that back. I'm gonna do more mixing. Give it a good mix. We also want to put a little salt and pepper in here. This is where my nifty nifty little pigs come in. So we got our pepper. And our salt. Okay. And then we're just gonna give it another mix. Now, of course, you wanna give it a taste test. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Garlic. Mm. 
Now you can use fresh garlic if you have it. I do prefer it, but I'm being a little lazy today. We're busy. So laziness is fine. It's all about using what you got. Another mix. And then if you really want to feel fancy, adding in some feta. feta. So pretty much everything we have is from the garden or Aldi's. We're big Aldi's people. If you live near an Aldi and you've shopped there, then you probably know why. Feta okay. in. Give it a good toss. And there we have a quick, refreshing side salad, snack, maybe a main meal if you're willing to eat enough of it. And it's perfect for this time of year.